Back in the paddock to Trish. <laughs> Thank you. Fired up is the operative word. But you know what? Jug week wouldn't be jug week, I think, without trainer Marty Wallam aboard. I see him here every day I'm back here. And actually, you had a great Sunday, Marty. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Jim. It's always exciting to be here at Delaware. You have a few racing on today's card. We're going to take a look at Speedy AJ first in this upcoming race. And uh, this particular horse doesn't appear to have a good early foot. Am I just reading into this, or is that the truth? Well, when he, in some of classes, he's really quick. It seems like we always draw in with really fired up or one of the colts that's quick off the gate, and we have to kind of set to the wood and hope for a good trip. All right, you have to have patience, patience, patience. Ken Holliday is the man that gets the call here today. And we were just chit-chatting a little bit about race bikes. Uh, so were the fellas in the infield. And that seems to be a lot of buzz lately about these new race bikes. What do you use, Marty, and why? Well, I use a Brodeur race bike. I think it's a good quality bike. But in most cases, a lot of these drivers now bring their own bike with them. Kenny has his own on this horse. I believe it's a Gerald and Dave Hawk when he drives for me uses a blackjack. All right, so uh, have drive and bring their own bike. That's kind of something new, interesting. Yeah, it is. I think they're more comfortable in it, and if they're comfortable, I'm, you know, that's what I want them to be, is comfortable and go fast. All right, Marty, we all want them to go fast. Speedy AJ has a 25% win percentage this season, but no wins of late. What's been keeping him out of the winner's circle? <laughs> well, I believe we've been in pretty tough, and our post positions haven't really been good. And on a half-mile track, post positions are a big part of it. And uh, we, Today we do a little better. Hopefully we'll get lucky. All right, luck it does take sometimes. But let's move ahead and talk about the ones you have later in the card in the uh, second program, second race. We're going to take a look at Savannah's Magic. This one, two to one choice in the morning line and fresh off a of victory in 156 and three. Mm -hmm. Savannah's a great mare. Uh, post position here might hurt us, but uh, have a lot of confidence with her. And uh, Brad Hanners has done a great job with her, so we'll hope for the best there. What about the start at Painesville on uh, August 21st? We do see a break at the start. Yeah. Half mile racetrack, County Fair in Ohio. The footing wasn't real good, and Savannah's a great big old girl, and just had a little trouble getting through the turn. All right, you talk about this great big old girl. What about her work ethics? Is she a yeoman? Does she like to go out there and do her thing? Yeah, she's a dandy. She, uh, she has a few problems, and every start out there, she gives everything she's got. So it's been a thrill to train her. All right, so you're looking for good things there. Then we're going to go to the fourth race in our second program and talk about It's Sugar Time. This is a cult by King Gypsy and Marty. You're in the trailing position with one that likes to bust out of there, it looks like. Well, there again, we've been to county fairs, and he's a really quick gate horse. He'll come from behind, and, uh, uh, you know, I'm hoping for great things. This is a really tough division of horses, and we'll see if he's capable of going with them. Well, it's uh, interesting to note that the times that he hasn't made the front, he's ended up being out for some air for a while, but he seems to have been able to handle that. Yeah, he's, he's a nice animal. He's a little bit on the lazy side, and he'll keep at it and try all his best. Well, you are in tough here, too, and what is your biggest concern about the trailing position? Where you get away. I, you know, the horses in front of me, hopefully they can leave, and uh, you don't get too far back. You don't really want to be sitting fourth or fifth, so we didn't. you do have to be first over. <laughs> all right. Well, you have three more chances to get the winner's circle today. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Let's go back over to you.